Hello, I'm Bill Curtis. Welcome to a and E's special presentation of The Boys of St. Vincent. This is the second of two parts, but it stands alone as a powerful story of child molestation and its lingering effects on both the abused and the abuser. The Boys of St. Vincent was inspired by real cases of child abuse in Canada, but it is a fictional drama and certainly not an accusation of any religion. As we know all too well, the effects of child abuse can be felt throughout every segment of society. And the effects of this movie were felt throughout an entire country. The Boys of St. Vincent was temporarily banned in parts of Canada. The courts felt it by prejudice and ongoing trial. The film was eventually shown and has since won awards all over the world for its sensitive portrayal of a very disturbing subject. Part one was set in 1975 at an orphanage in Newfoundland, where young boys were routinely violated, physically and sexually. Part two picks up 15 years later. The boys of St. Vincent are now men, men still tormented by painful memories of abuse. And their main abuser, brother Peter Lavin, is married with two children of his own. He's apparently closed the earlier chapter of his life. It's about to be reopened. Join us now as a and &E presents the conclusion of The Boys of St. Vincent. This program contains adult themes and language. Viewer discretion is advised. 